Hello everyone and welcome to my Nmap for Dummies course. In this video, I'll also give a brief introduction to scanning. What is scanning, you know, why you should scan and the kind of things you're looking for when you scan. So before I actually begin, I want to first apologize. I know I haven't really been active on this channel for over like two weeks. I haven't posted a video, but that is about to change. So um, every week, expect like two videos on this channel, okay? So don't lose hope, you know, keep coming, keep coming here for more content, you know, keep sharing. I really appreciate you guys. And there's a lot of interesting stuff coming, all right? So thank you, all. thank you so much. You know, so if you've been following my, um, my previous videos, you know, I talked first about information gathering. You know, which is the very first step when you want to attack a target. Then, um, in the information gathering phase, you know, we're able to get like emails, emails related to the company, um, other sites related to the company, and um, these things would actually help you. You know, it will actually help you. So you should always keep notes of some of this, of some of the the your findings. Okay. So in my last video, I talked about fishing. And uh, fishing is one of the most effective methods, you know, when um, attacking a target. It's where perhaps maybe you send something, maybe you send someone over here in the internal network, you send someone a mail, you know, and uh, the mail has something malicious. And maybe once the person clicks on it, you have access from here straight into the internal network. Now, there are several instances where your phishing attempt, it just won't work. If it doesn't work, then you now have to... You know go through the slow process of you know going to the dmz and you know luckily if you're able to find any opening it gives you straight access to the internal network so we are going to utilize what is known as scanning we are going to be scanning you know the servers here now what are we scanning for we are scanning for open ports you know once you see which ports are open we are scanning for services what services are running on these systems. Now, this will help us because you know, many of them, they might have vulnerabilities. Many of them might not even be patched. So scanning helps us in, this, in the sense that, you know, it gives us a bit more information. So we'll now know where to limit our, you know, our attacks to and what to do. And a very popular tool, there is, there is a plethora of tools. There's so many tools out there, you know, with regards to scanning. But one of the most popular is Nmap. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So, I'm on my Kali system. And um, we did a target, you know, so... Hopefully, so probably maybe um, the targets you got from your information gathering phase. But remember what I keep saying, you should make sure you should have permission. It's very, very important you have permission to scan any. Don't just go scanning any system just because you can. You know, you probably get detected and um, maybe even get picked up. So you should be careful of what to scan, you know, and um, make sure you get permission there are several sites out there that give you express permission to scan and one of such sites i have it open here already is a site scanme.nmap.org now let me read what now this this is the makers this nmap.org is the makers of nmap which is a very popular tool i told you about so it says hello and welcome to scanme.nmap.org a service provided by the Mmap Security Scanner Project. Okay, we set up this machine to help folks learn about Nmap and also to test and make sure that their Nmap installation is working properly. You are authorized to scan this machine with Nmap or other port scanners. Try not to hammer on the server too hard. A few scans in a day is fine, but those scan hundred times a day. So. This site, scammy.mmap.org, they are giving you permission to scan their site. Okay, so it's very, very important, like I keep saying, always have permission. Don't just go around scanning any system just because you can. It's illegal. You should have permission, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. 
now um i would minimize this so to start nmap i just go here and open a terminal and i just start i just start typing nmap then our site is what scan me dot nmap dot org that's just it that's just the basic like the the bare bones i just want to start scanning the site just nmap and the url of your site okay so i'm just going to do this and just press enter so now my scans will start so that's just the very basics of you know what nmap is and how to use nmap just go nmap so this is just going to take a little while so just be patient all right so my scans are finished and um, i'm seeing quite a number of open ports i'm seeing port 22 is open port 25 port 80 9929 and 31337 so um what do these numbers mean i know you guys are like ah, what do these numbers mean how do i go forward from here so in the next video i'm um going to talk further about this but this is just bare bones what nmap is you know and how to i mean and how to basically use nmap it's just as simple as nmap space then the url so with that i say thank you and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up you know subscribe you know share with your friends yada 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 i'm out